so I'm wondering whether I can make a condenser mic using um, some wire mesh and aluminium foil so the wire mesh or rather the aluminium foil vibrates against the wire mesh and there are the two plates of a capacitor that's a condenser mic right so the first thing I'm going to do is cut the wire mesh into some circles and I don't think this is I don't think scissors are necessarily the best tool for this but I don't think I have a better tool something to uh, separate this from the foil and so far I'm going to use this like really thin plastic film well it's it could be thinner actually but this will probably work I want to make sure that this is smaller than that so that there's no risk of making accidental contact we want to make sure that we have contact. We don't appear to. Okay, so I had more luck soldering to the less shiny side of the foil. We have a connection now. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this uh, mic element I just made and connect it across the output jack. Now the last step, I'm just going to take this uh, kitchen roll, cut it in half and then put this mic element in the middle, like slightly beyond the halfway point. That's important because you only want the sound to hit it from one side. If you have the same sound hitting the um, element from both sides, it's going to cancel out and you're going to get less of a strong signal. So, let's do that. sounds like it's not that bad honestly given how crude it is you notice there's some noise there's white noise that's because I had to turn the gain like all the way up in my interface but it I mean you can make out words and, and <laughs> it has sort of has built-in distortion and uh, you'll notice I have my thumb on this thing here, that's, that's a thing. So if I don't do that, you get this. So that's why handheld microphones usually have a metal body. That must be for, um, for earthing. This sounds better than I expected. <laughs>